Hey guys, welcome back to another GTA 6 video. My name is Saints Fan, and why can't we ever just have good news when it comes to this game? You know, it's always got to be something going wrong, it seems like. I mean, I guess earlier this year, we kind of got some good news when Rockstar themselves actually said they're working on GTA 6, but they didn't even give us anything else. Like, they just said it's in development. It's in active development. But what we're actually going to take a look at today is probably one of the bigger leakers in the gaming community. He had some very interesting things to say about this active development going on at Rockstar. So here's the tweet in question. He is responding to another tweet, which reported on some other GTA 6 stuff. And we'll actually take a look at that one first. I didn't make a video on this just because this is kind of old news. I mean, we talked about a leak that was very similar to this about a year ago, actually from Tom Henderson, the guy we're we're sort of uh, taking a look at in this video. But that original tweet, I mean, it just says the story will take place in Columbia slash Miami and will include in-game cryptocurrency rewards for players to earn and trade. I mean, it's a pretty general and sort of vague leak, supposedly, for this GTA 6. But again, like Tom says here, he's assuming that this dates back to his original report over a year ago. So this is something, at least that info, is something that's already been out there. But the new stuff, he says, I have not had any updates on such features since, and I would definitely treat this with a grain of salt. It's just a rumor from a game in very turbulent development. So right off the bat, the whole cryptocurrency thing, as far as being just like another currency in the game, that might not even happen. I mean, that's something that they probably initially had. Maybe they were trying to figure it out. They decided it's not really working. They could have taken it out or they could just leave it in. That's not really what we're focusing on. The very turbulent development. That is the key phrase here. He did respond to his tweet by saying, I still believe the game is releasing in 2024 or 2025. And he's referring to the game's development being turbulent because it hasn't been plain or I guess easy sailing, just like with every other game sort of in development during COVID with people leaving and all the other issues that come with it. And if you were wondering who this Tom Henderson is, if you don't know a quick rundown, this guy has leaked a bunch of stuff in the gaming community, mainly relating to Call of Duty and uh, Battlefield, but he does seem to have some connections, I guess, with other companies. So that's why we're taking this kind of seriously. And as far as the release date that he's sort of giving us here, 2024 to 2025, I mean, that that's something we've all sort of been expecting for the last year or so. But the fact that he's still saying the development is very turbulent, I think could be a little worrisome. And the reason I say that is because, especially if a lot of people are leaving the company, that's not good, especially if they were longtime developers at Rockstar. And I mean, we've already seen it with like the head people at Rockstar leaving, like... Half the guys that founded Rockstar aren't there anymore. One of the biggest examples of this is a recent Battlefield 2042. Everyone thought that game was going to be awesome because the previous Battlefields were awesome. But as it turned out, almost all of the original Battlefield developers actually left prior to 2042 releasing, which is probably why the game didn't actually turn out to be any good. Now, I'm not saying that's what's going to happen to GTA 6 because at this point, I think GTA 6 is almost too big to fail. But this very turbulent development could actually be why we're not getting any information about the game. I mean, we're all wanting something, whether it's just an, an actual official announcement that is called GTA 6, a screenshot, a logo, something like that. And the fact that we haven't gotten that yet is maybe because what he's saying is true. I mean, surely if the development is turbulent and chaotic, they're going to probably be focusing on trying to fix it and actually make the game rather than give the community new details or something like that. Now to end on maybe some good news, maybe, maybe the silver lining, this turbulent development doesn't seem to be just exclusive to Rockstar. Like it's not something internally at Rockstar that's going wrong. If it is just people leaving because of COVID or because of like working at home issues or something like that. And if every other sort of gaming company is going through that, then surely this it, it'll get resolved eventually. But it does of course just suck to hear this constantly about GTA 6 that it's chaotic it's turbulent it's whatever I guess many of us just want a leak to come out and say GTA 6 is looking good there are no problems to report but honestly who knows if we'll ever get that of course let us know in the comment section what you guys think and as always I'll keep you guys up to date on any GTA 6 info that comes out that looks somewhat reputable 
if you are new around here definitely hit that subscribe button but thank you guys for watching please drop the video like if you did enjoy subscribe for more gta content and as always i'll see you all in the next one